subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Renee is moving away from Cabo Verde now, where warnings have just been discontinued and is forecast to become a hurricane later this week. Currently, with winds of 40 miles an hour, a minimum pressure of 1,001 millibars, unchanged as of yesterday's time, uh, but it's still the same right now as of 8 p.m. Cabo Verde time, September 8th, 2020. Storms are moving a little bit quicker than yesterday. It's now moving 16 miles an hour west, actually. It's currently located at 16.8 degrees north, 27.9 degrees west. Again, moving away from land, and no new land impacts are expected over the next five days, but it could become a bit of a shipping hazard as it intensifies. Distance of miles right now from land, Riviera Grande, 164 miles now. Santa Maria, 287 miles, and Praia is 277 miles. All these can increase now as the storm is moving west at about 16 miles an hour. This is the closest the storm will be to land for at least the next five plus days. No warnings are in effect in association with the storm at this point in time. Like I said at the start of the video, the warnings have just been discontinued and it is unlikely to see actual new land warnings be issued for quite some time. Maybe if the system really survives and lingers along, it could do something way down the line, but that's well beyond the five day forecast period. Here's the model from the GFS showing precipitation and cloud cover. You can see Renee on the right side, Paulette on the left side, both of them out at sea right now. Renee becoming a hurricane in this model run from the GFS, and that's also what the National Hurricane Center is saying. Paulette becoming much more disorganized as wind shear begins to take a toll on it quickly uh, in this model run as well. Regardless, both of them are likely to be tropical cyclones at day five right now. As you get a little bit further out though, you can also see another system potentially come into the south. Uh, that's the tropical wave that has a 70% chance of development in the next five days. Sea surface temperatures in the main development region look like this, 27 degrees Celsius, mostly through the region until you get closer to the Lesser Antilles and Windward Islands. Then you start to see those 28s, 29s, and even 30s pop up. But where Renee is heading right now over the next couple of days, 27 degrees Celsius for the most part, some splotches of 28 degrees Celsius. Here's the wind model from the GFS. You can see Paulette there on the left as a broader system uh, initially, and Renee coming on the right side as well, again becoming a hurricane on this model run as a pretty compact system. You can see those yellows pop up. That indicates hurricane force winds on the GFS model as the storm lifts northward towards the latitude of Cuba and the southeast United States, but well out to sea at this point in time and moving north. It could end up meandering or stalling later on, uh, but again, a lot of that's going to be beyond five days, uh, so really not too much to pay attention to in that regard. Interestingly though, that other system potentially coming out and forming with the 70% odds of development on it right now. Take the tropical storm force winds right now. All these are zero now for all the three locations in Cabo Verde as the system pulls away. Relatively small wind field means that the worst extent of tropical storm force winds have already passed and conditions will continue to improve as the rainfall also moves away from the island nation. Here's the, Geo or the National Hurricane Center's cone. You can see again, moving away from land at this point, moving west right now, expected to just begin gaining latitude soon, intensifying to a hurricane in less than two days now. Uh, weaken again though as we get later into the forecast period of shear will also try to take a toll on the storm, but still be a tropical storm at day five with 60 miles an hour winds according to the National Hurricane Center. Here's the wind field history as well. You can see pretty small wind field, but enough to give some tropical storm conditions to the nation of Cabo Verde. Fortunately for them, this is going to continue to pull away as the storm moves westward. The worst of the impacts have already passed the nation at this time. And right now you also see some satellite imagery pop up on the screen. Not the most organized tropical cyclone you'll ever see. That's why it is still a weak tropical storm despite being a name storm for about a day now. But regardless, still a tropical storm moving away from Cabo Verde. We'll have a live tropical weather bulletin later tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern covering Renee and Paulette. Make sure to stay tuned for more. On our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.